everybody, welcome to my kitchen. This week it's absolutely glorious and sunny here in Wales. You might not be able to tell in this room, we don't get the most light in the kitchen, but outside it's absolutely boiling. So I'm going to be making my spatchcock chicken uh, in lemon and thyme and garlic, which I put on the barbecue. It's super easy to make and because it's cooked on the bone, it's really, really succulent. So let me show you how we do it. So I've just bought a normal chicken here and I'm cutting the backbone out with a really good pair of kitchen scissors. If you wanted to make this recipe and you're not comfortable doing that, then you can just ask the butcher to butterfly or spatchcock the chicken. Um, you can leave the breasts on the bone if you want to, or to make it easier to eat, you can take them off, but it does reduce the cooking time. So just be mindful of that because the breasts can go dry. I'm also trimming off some of the fat because that can really flare up the flames on a barbecue. And there I'm just cutting through uh, the bone there to make sure that it lays completely flat on the barbecue. So that's it for the butchery. And as you can see, it doesn't take very long. This recipe calls for four lemons and I will put the full recipe on katiehomecook.com. But really, it's just a chicken that's heavily flavoured with lemon and rosemary, not thyme, like I said in the introduction. Um, salt pepper and garlic that's all it needs again i with this recipe i like to leave it in the fridge overnight ideally it really takes on the flavor um but you can leave it for about three hours in the fridge uh, that'll be enough um just make sure it's sure here now they're getting the lemon juice everywhere and especially underneath it because you want to flavor the chicken itself and not just the skin now the day i decided to make this chicken we had a bit of an issue with our barbecue so i had to borrow a friend so it was much smaller than my normal one and usually i had to have a lid and a void so i could use it like an oven and it did get dark by the end so um i cooked it again the next day just using chicken eggs and that's the photo i've got here uh please give it a go it's really simple and it's so tasty